How to choose a pacifier. For an infant, sucking on a pacifier can be supremely soothing. So here's how to keep your little sucker happy and pacified. You will need a baby, a variety of pacifiers to choose from, and a tape measure. Warning, never tie a pacifier to any part of a baby or to her clothing or crib. Whatever you use could get tangled around her neck. Step one, choose the right pacifier for your baby's age. Pacifiers come in three sizes, those for babies six months and younger, for babies from six to 18 months, and for babies over 18 months old. A baby's drive to suck is especially intense between two and four months, so this is a good time to present a pacifier. Step two, choose a well-made pacifier. The best pacifiers are one piece with the nipple and base firmly attached. Pacifiers with multiple parts could come apart and pose a choking hazard. Step three, choose a pacifier with a soft and pliable nipple. Despite the availability of so-called orthodontically shaped pacifiers, the only thing that really matters is that the nipple feels right to your baby. Latex nipples are softer than silicone ones, but silicone doesn't retain odors and holds up better after repeated cleanings. Step four, choose a pacifier with a wide shield. That's the part of the base that presses against the outside of the baby's mouth. It should be at least an inch and a half wide. Any narrower and it could fit inside a baby's mouth. It should also have air holes to help keep moisture from building up beneath it, which could lead to a rash. Step five, choose a brightly colored pacifier. They're easier to find for both the baby, who may wake and look for it during nap time, and for you, when you're trying to locate it under the sofa or dig it out of the depths of a diaper bag. Step six, choose a pacifier that's dishwasher safe. Pacifiers mysteriously disappear all the time. So when you find the right one for your baby, don't hesitate, stock up on it. Step seven, lastly, but most importantly, choose a pacifier your baby likes. Offer her several different models to choose from. She'll know what she likes and spit out the rest. Did you know in Britain, Australia, and New Zealand, pacifiers are called dummies, while in Canada, they're called soothers.